Okay, honestly, I'm kind of debating doing this kind of every single video, make like kind of like a background for each video. Nonetheless, here is Kyle Bush's number 18, uh, uh, 20, 20 M&M's. What's Kyle Bush's 2020 M&M's? Number 18 toy camera for Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, this is just a regular version we had. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's intro. Uh, I, I do like this background kind of, you know. I kind of wish they all had their own boxes, but I kind of accidentally threw out all the boxes before 2018, basically. And this is an authentic box, so. Yeah. Anyways, here it is. Let's open this thing up. I will be honest, I've always tried to get new Kyle Busch cars. Kind of glad I got this one. Here it is. It's basically the same way we've gone since, like, 2017. Here's the 2016. You can see there's a bit of a change in 2016. That's more. This one was more, like, cartoony. You know. Anyways, yeah. I have never, I never really like collect that many Kyle Bushes. I have. Let me show you. It's 2013 Snickers, 2015 Adams Crispy on the PTC, yeah, PTC mold, and then his 2015 Charlotte car from the playoffs, 2015 Championship, 2019 Championship. Keep on going, I guess. Uh, 2016 regular, 2016 Kansas Red Nose win, 2017 Caramel, 2018 Interstates Battery, and then his regular 2018 car. Anyways, I, I've already, I've tried to get a couple of new ones here and there. I just have not had the money to spend on. I just really have not wanted to spend it when I've had the chance. Uh, but kind of glad I finally bought this one. My here's my last bush. It's gotten very much beat up. As you can kind of see. Uh, but we'll talk about this a bit. My car is you get so pretty badly beat up. Uh, it's it's usually like the front end, uh, and then compared to this is probably one of my worst ones. Compared to usual people, this makes me look like I'm like a god keeping care of my cars because honestly, some people just absolutely destroy them, guys. Honestly, if you're if you're doing a stop motion series, I'd try and not use the cars from you like your fun side when you're just moving them around. Nonetheless, uh, yeah, here it is. Nothing really much about this car. It was really just uh, the fact that. It's pretty much been the same since 2017, except for, like, you know, a few touches, like, new spots or touches and all that stuff. Uh, but it's basically been the same thing. Surprising that we have the Cessna logo. Oh, we had Cessna on here before, I think. Wow, kind of never noticed that. Anyways, we'll compare this to the 2018 cards, the last one I got. This was actually one of the last cards, I think, that made it before we added the window banners. Uh, but, uh, yeah. The reason I got this one over the 2019 uh, one was it was pretty much the same price. I think it was like 50 cents more. So uh, I was going to buy it anyways. Plus, we do have a couple new features such as the rims. Or sorry, new Goodyear kind of tires. And the rim logo actually got on here. So that's pretty cool. There's the camera. Really hard to see that actually. So let's just take a quick look at this car. We have three M&Ms of green, red, and blue. People always say it's kind of purple. I'm colorblind. It looks blue. Should be blue. Green M&M, blue M&M, just white or yellow background. Kind of wish I would switch that up a couple times maybe and have like just a yellow M&M, like that guy right there. Anyways, on the side we have all the contingencies right here. Uh, we've got interstate batteries, freight, I can't, I gotta zoom in here a bit. Um, Freightliner, Mad Tools, Lincoln, Mobile One, Cessna, Siemens, interstate batteries, M&Ms. Eminem Red Guy, Reem, Stanley, Kyle Busch, Signature, a couple other spots. I'm trying to focus on my camera doesn't have the best focus. I think I can see Skittles is on there pretty obviously. Here, so if I can just like bring it in closer. I always hate these focusing problems we have. And it's kind of just the right contingencies you would have. Uh, we have Sunoco Racing, or Sunoco Vio logo there. Jokes Racing 18, Sunoco. Uh, Rim already said. On the back end, we have Camry, M&M, all the M&M colors. Toyota, the 18, Camera, Toyota logo. Definitely we have M&Ms. Uh, left and right are the same, except for, of course, the M&Ms. Uh, got the 18, we've got a bunch of M&Ms right there, I think. Two of each. Kyle Bush, and nothing on the actual front. Uh, we don't have DIN numbers on these. Kind of disappointed. Hopefully they'll do that one day. Um, overall, pretty good car. Um, it, it it depends on how beat up your car is. The only reason I bought a new car was how beat up mine was. 
So, like, if you're gonna get a new one, like, just make sure focus on the main car here. Um, if you're gonna get this, I'd also make sure, like, depending if you're a cowboy trainer, you're gonna buy it. Uh, but this is really just a car that's based off how you may destroy If your car is actually maybe beat up somehow, you got a wrong A pillar or something, buy this car might as well, you know. Um, never heard just add a bit, uh, pay a bit, pay another car, <laughs> pay for another car or die cast, uh, just to make sure that you have that extra backing for your die cast. Plus, you know, it, it, you could say this is a rare find, you know. I don't know. I mean, it's not going to be a real fine. Let's be honest. This is actually pretty much still available. I know for sure it's available still on... For Canadian dealers like myself, uh, it is still available on Daryl's Diecast, which is where I got this for about 12 bucks. Uh, I'd recommend Can Racing, but the problem is you have you can't get older cars. If you want to get older cars, go to Daryl's. He has pretty good pricing for them. Uh, but his new car is like 12 bucks. So I'll go to Can Racing where they're 8 to 10 bucks. So no offense, but it's my opinion. Something's going on with that M&M right there. Uh, yeah. I don't know what's going on there. What the heck? Decal error. Um, paint chip, I think, right there. That's a logo. Or that's like an R, I think. Right? Yeah. Um. Don't see that many issues. I really do like this glossy kind of yellow. But I hope kind of one day that we kind of just get one of these other colors on. I'd honestly like that that one black Skittles car we got. I want that thing to return. It was so nice. I mean, who didn't love that thing? It was. I think it ran. I want to say it ran Phoenix twenty seventeen. It may that was the uh, second Phoenix race in twenty seventeen. May have ran Spring race in twenty eighteen when Harvick won. I think I may have seen it there, but uh, yeah, you know, it's it's a nice car. You know, nope. Um, I'll, I mean, I'm not making stop motions. For me as a collector, you know, when I'm bored, I will make like little series. Like I'll go through the entire schedule, just race them. I won't bang them. I'll go like one, I'll go, what I do is basically go like this. You know, I won't go like I just hate to go like that because it's just it makes racing so unrealistic, honestly. Like if you're gonna have fun with them, try to make it at least a little bit realistic, you know. If you're a pure NASCAR fan, hopefully one day we'll get floppy suspension as well, like really stiff suspension. That'd be awesome. Um. Overall, let's compare this though to the 2018 car. Uh, if we want, we can compare it to the 2017, but probably won't. Uh, nothing much on the front. I feel, yeah, no, nothing much else has changed here. Uh, we don't have the contingency sponsors anymore on the front end. That's something new. Also, it's an authentic, authentic, so I kind of colored in the uh, window banner or window net. I've stopped doing that now because it just ruins the car if I'm going to sell them. Um, Anyways, wait, is this, yeah, this is an authentic, I forget when I got this authentic, actually. Um, nothing much has really changed, it's kind of where the sponsor has been placed, we don't have the rim logo up here. Um, it's basically kind of the same, actually, you know, I, I would like if they switched something up. I don't think they switched up again this year for 2021. I'll have to double check that, but, uh, yeah, nonetheless, they're pretty, pretty much similar. Uh, actually, I don't know what, this guy's, this guy's a little bit too, uh, far up, though, so, move him down again, I don't, I think they're the same, yeah, they're the same, but more of a darker outline, though, on his hands, so, you know, really the only change, uh, but yeah, nothing really much has changed in these cars, that's the kind of thing I'm sad about, um, comparing this, though, to the 20, uh, 16 car, I'll just move all these, I'll just move him over there for now, you know what? there you go, um, you can, you can really tell some changes here. Uh, front end, you can see they change actually where the M&Ms were. They changed the red and the blue. Uh, this is on the old uh, sh old Chevy, old uh, Camry mold. So, uh, I kind of missed that mold, honestly. Of course, got different uh, series sponsors. Now, got NASCAR Cup Series and NASCAR Spring Cup Series. Hardly, it's almost been five years since this car ran. The yeah, top one. Um, you can see the M&M now is scared of the girl one. Is that true? This was during the 75 years of, of M&M's as well. I do very much remember that. Yep, m and celebrating 75 years. Because Kyle ran the uh, 75 car uh, back at the All-Star Race. This is interesting. Kind of wish to bring this back. This old, um, what's it called? What, what's what's the type of decal? Or, not decal. Uh, turtle, it's called. It's called, um, I 
get like it's um it's something it's it's when it's just black and white it's um oh I forget what's it called um I'm thinking we all search it up I'll search up Chevy Low because I know it'll come up. Vector, the Vector line. I think that's what it's called, the Vector, right? Uh, there's a Vector logo on this one and not on this one, which kind of sucks. Kind of wish they bring that back. Uh, I don't think this back end better, probably. Uh, but yeah, there's some major differences. Of course, this was the 75 year anniversary, but yeah, for a collector, I definitely recommend picking this up if, once again, you have not gotten a new Kyle Bush. If you got his 2019, I don't like it, really. They don't have the window band. It's basically the same car, except for a different chassis, basically. If you want, here is the 2019 car right here. I'm gonna keep this one in the packaging because it is Kyle Busch Championship, but you can see it is the exact same. Of course, it's a bit of different because it is the race version, but uh, yeah, no, no change, basically. So uh, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. Um, What are we today? Or, um, today it's Thursday, I'm recording this. This is coming out on Sunday. Uh, I don't know what IndyCar review I'm going to do next. Uh, we'll do two this week. We'll do another cup car. Uh, for reviews, most likely either the Clipboard or Mad to Bandeau. And then we'll either do, we'll do a new IndyCar review. Most likely, I would think, um, sorry, uh, the, um, Max Chilton probably. We'll met, uh, we will be doing the Carlos Munoz car before the Tony Canon because I want to do some comparing between those two cars. And I'd like to open up the Munoz first. So that's just a quick announcement. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.